Hi, welcome back to Island Flair. Now, I bet you're wondering what this little contraption is, but well, just a minute, I'm gonna get to that in a second. Uh, but firstly, I mean, let me just read a little quote here from KB, and this is what he said about his experience with this cuckoo soup. He said, they read me the black book, make me bait off in sage, yeah. make me drink old granny, bleep, man that nearly killed me. Say, rub me down a lot, make me run, mm. make it through the graveyard, <laughs> feed me with piece of two by four, but they couldn't find no cure. And we still ain't got a remedy for that today, but still I'm gonna not. show you how to do it. Watch this now. What we're gonna do, firstly, we're gonna get that pot really, really hot, because it's okay. a, gonna, we're gonna move pretty fast. Okay. I already blanched some of these vegetables, so what we're gonna start to do is this. Just gonna start off with a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. So, the way Ronnie would put it, you need some oil conk. Some oil conk. Yeah, throw that in there. Dump that in there. Yeah, some oil ham. All of this goes in? Yeah. All right. One dime. Get some oil here. Mmm, I feel like pea soup and dumpling now. Yeah. <laughs> you got yourself some old sweet potato. Just a little bit, it's not that much, but yeah. I bet it adds a whole lot of flavor. And some old carrots. I hope you ain't on the all recording this stuff in there. Half of that. Half of this. Yeah, because the carrots are kind of sweet, and if you don't want it to be too sweet, you want it to have a little savory taste to it. Okay. So we get some old cassava. Cassava. Now, the, all of this goes in, or? Mm hmm. Uh huh. We got some red onions. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Regular onions, red onions, all the work just fine. Okay, okay. Uh, this is, is, like I onion? said, this is going to cook rather quickly. So what? that's why we had the, the pot really, really smoking. Because we want to get this as hot as possible. So that when the stuff starts to cook, mm -hmm. it could go, you know, really fast. Now, what's this stuff? Is this um, squid or shrimp or something? Yeah, that's shrimp. Shrimp. Uh, you, but, you know, for cuckoo soup, you need to have your seafood inside there. Because, you know... That, that, that stuff just naturally have a lot going on in it. Okay, so how, how much of this do I dump in on the whole thing? Put the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's really Solid. good for us men. So they say. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder so, why they say that. Yeah, I just wonder why. So we want to let this um, stay on. And I'm just going to let all of that just love on itself. Right, right, right. For a while. It doesn't look like much now, but I mean, I'm sure it'll come together. Oh, yeah. You best believe it. Notice we just still have our chowder on here. Yeah, and that's actually coming together pretty nice right now. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that looks just about ready. Ah yeah. uh, well. It already has developed the body, the thickness. You see, we have a little bit of vegetables all in and through it, so you have all of the flavor, the little crunch, and you have the sweet. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is looking pretty good. I'm ready digging that right now. Now I tell you what, what you could do is give it a little. Uh, one second. Here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give it a little taste. Let's For see real? if we mm -hmm, if we need to add any seasonings. The plus with that is that we added we use the chicken stock. So if you mm. seasons, has it? It's actually good. You were saying chicken stock? Mm-hmm. That's what gave it a lot of flavor. So, for the most part, you may not even have to put much salt, up, if any. Oh, okay, now I see why. Now I really see why uh, you use the chicken you say? stock. It's your taste? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Can I try the next one, or one it. is enough? <laughs> one for now. We'll try the rest at the table. I'm going to just go ahead and take up some of this. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Oh, I'll put that. Like that. It's pretty good and Looks pretty quick. Nice, man. Yeah, it does. Now, what I have here, I have a, just a little bit of a cream. And what I'm going to do is going to add this to, uh, to add a little bit more color. Um, all you need to do is get a little bit of heavy cream, uh -huh. put it in a pan for a couple of seconds, and add a little bit of thyme. Or you could even use a little bit of um, coconut milk. Okay. Just reduce it for a couple of seconds, add some time so it'll be like a time infused cream. Right. And then after you do that. Now that only adds color or does it? It adds color if you use the coconut milk, then it'll add a bit of, a bit of taste. But okay. the time in it also helps with the flavor. Okay. Now what you want to do, as often as we do it on the show, mm -hmm. you want to take this little bouquet. We're going to place that in the center. <gasps> of the chapter. Okay. Yeah. Place it right in the center. Find it right there in the middle. Okay, Mr. Green Thumb. Pull it right there. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> As you come, Chana. 
So, Jamal, um, the, I know why they call this one conch chowder. Because the main ingredient here is the chowder, uh, the conch. Uh -huh. What about this one makes it cuckoo soup? Oh, you know well, what I mean? Well, I tell you what. Um, the thing with that is it has a secret ingredient in it. And I put it in the stock and we're going to pour in that for in a second. Not going to tell you what it is, though. Don't what? even ask. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of time. Well, I'll tell you what it is probably at the end of the show. Okay, cool. Yeah. You're going to have to do that because I mean, shoot. Because I know <laughs> all of the anticipation is already building. Whoa, what that is? Yeah, I can head up now. What the, the secret ingredient to cuckoo soup is it? Yeah. Actually, I, I want to know right now because I didn't even know you put, you put it. You put it in. Well, this here. Get this. This is um, a plum tomato. Mm -hmm. uh, just another thing in there just to give it a little bit more flavor. Give that a stir. And here comes the stock. Again, we have our chicken stock with ingredient X. Yes. Ingredient X. Yes. A good X. <laughs> oh, a little bit more stock. Um, the cassava and the potatoes, carrots, that stuff. What it's gonna do is gonna thicken it up itself. So this is pretty much uh, set to go. That is pretty much tell you where, where we want it. Okay. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna take that. Let's pour this in the blender. Stand back. It's hot. It shows. You got all of it. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this. Put that on the processor. That's it. Now, what texture would you want to blend it at? Now, what you would want is you want it to have just a little bit of a graininess to it. Okay. Not too much, because okay. you want it to be a smooth soup, but not too smooth. Okay. And what we want is to have a little bit of body and a little bit of texture to it. Okay. Now, once that's all done, now people tend to cook and uh, do, do stuff like this in the blender quite often, of late at least. All right. There you go. And with the ingredients that we put in, as from the ham, the, the conch, the shrimp, what you're gonna have is an incredible amount of uh, flavor in this soup. And you do not want to put any more salt or seasoning in it. Probably not because you, you're really not gonna need it. Uh, the final touch on this, you just add your little garnish. Right. See, there you go. And plug this one in there, plant that one in there. All right, same thing. There we go. There you go. Right in the center. Pow! Cuckoo soup. So what? We're gonna take a quick break, and when we get back, uh, we'll be enjoying this delicious meal oh. that Monks and I have prepared. Yeah. Obama <laughs> bump. You stay tuned.